what's coming out now? A new reality TV show called The Shahs of Sunset about the Iranian, excuse me, Persian community in the West LA, Beverly Hills area. And you know what? I can't fucking wait to see this show. When the revolution happened, we all had to pick up and flee the old country. I've been a refugee since I was eight. My parents sacrificed everything for me to be free. So we ended up in Beverly Hills. Growing up in Beverly Hills was fantastic. What's up, Dad? Family is of utmost importance. Very proud of you. Thank you. Time for me to find you a Prince Charming. I've been looking. There's a lot of pressure to marry within the community. We come from a line of doctors and lawyers and businessmen and people who are making money. The property is sprawled on half an acre. People expect of you to do great things. Image is everything. Two things I don't like. I don't like ants, and I don't like ugly people. <clears throat> Crystal. Gold. Cars. Houses with the big columns. We talk about each other. Hello, we're Persian. Salamati, <laughs> love you guys. Before anything else, time out. What are you talking about, old country? When the revolution happened, we all had to pick up and flee the old country. What do you think this is, The Godfather or some Martin Scorsese movie, Old Country? It was tribute, just like in the old country, except they were doing it here in America. God forbid you should say the I word, Iran. The pretentiousness is there from the beginning. First of all, they've got names like Michael. Oh right, so your real name's Mamad Reza. You're Iranian, your name is Mercedes. Mercedes. Okay, so in LA, Iranians love to look down on Mexicans. I couldn't stand it anymore. We're seen at the Jenner fucking Vina. But then you're gonna adopt these kind of pretentious, fancy sounding Spanish names, Mercedes. And then to top it off, her saying her mum's name is Vida. Vida. There, oh my, that means life in Spanish. There is no end to like LA Persians take it to a whole new height. Fair enough, maybe in England, the guy's name's Jamshid, he calls himself Jamie. Vida. Your real name's Sakine or Sedige, and you're trying to call yourself Vida. But you want to know what killed it? Of all the characters I saw on this new show, the one that just grabbed my attention was Hello, we're Persian. This guy had a proper Haji Baba moustache, some Haji Bazari. Straight away when I saw him, I thought he's like some old school Haji Baba. No, the guy's apparently gay. I'm like, what? Okay, are you trying to go for like the Freddie Mercury village people look? The guy just looks like an amalgamation of Ibrahim Tatlasis. <laughs> And Officer Crabtree. My policeman's pints are full of dynamite. <laughs> That's the craziest part about it. The guy who's gay is keeping it real, and he's called Reza. Like, I, from time he's gay, I'd expect him to be called, I don't know, George Michael, Boy George, Pesa George. Alejandro and he's keeping it real and he's calling it Reza. Now the reactions from the Iranian community, oh my god. What I say to my community is fear not. Every minority had to go through this stereotypical projection. We're a culture with a very rich history. We come from a line of poets, a line of gracious, loving people. We come from a heritage that founded one of the first Bill of Rights and Human Existence. That's sounding awfully close to this stuff. We have great dreams. We have Kurosh. We have Doryush. What do you have? Just a stupid George Bush. You're an Iranian. I'm Persian. It's the culture. But what do you mean the culture? You Shut up! Now they're trying to say, look, this is just cliches. These are stereotypes. No, we're not like that. We're poetic people. We're, you know, we come from a high culture background. So people want to say that, you know, this reality TV show is a cliche, this and that. All these cliches emanate from reality. They don't emanate from the Twilight Zone. Even that movie, Not Without My Daughter. I told you before, you don't touch the phone and you don't leave the house. It was based on a real event. Yes, the movie was disgusting. Yes, the movie was exaggerated. Yes, it was caricatures, but the point about caricatures, stereotypes, where there's smoke, there's fire. You see when she said this? Image is everything. Iranians generally, appearance is everything. Look at the amount of nose jobs there are nowadays. Back in the day, nose jobs were big with Iranian women. Now it's like every single Persian female wants to have a nose job. You may be surprised to learn that there is an obsession with plastic surgery. That's right. 
Iran is known as the nose job capital of the world. Her mother is already impressed. Long story short, this reality TV show is making Persian people look very superficial, very materialistic, very shallow, not much substance. But Persian culture of today's generation largely is shallow, superficial and ostentatious. Iranians, it's all about appearance. It's all about how you're perceived, not how you really are at your core, at your heart. If you're not like that, if you're not superficial, if you're not shallow, if you're not self-centered, if you're not ostentatious, then you've got nothing to worry about. Do you? Don't get so worried that your Iranian legacy is going to be tarnished, is going to be besmirched, because these are Beverly Hills Iranians. These are the richest of the Iranian diaspora. And more to the point, these are largely Jewish Iranians. It's not a complete besmirchment of the general Iranian diaspora. This is like a particular clan, a particular tribe of Iranians within the broader group of Iranians. And that's the Persian Mafia. You can't hang with them unless you own a BMW. Do Iranians come from this line? We come from a line of poets. A line of gracious, loving people. Or this line? We come from a line of doctors and lawyers and businessmen and people who are making money. You, the public, need to make that decision. But in the meantime, whilst you're making that decision, to help you on your journey of decision making, try and bear one thing in mind. You're an Iranian. I'm Persian. It's the culture. But what do you mean the culture? You Shut up! It's the 